What's up everyone, Eli here, back for a collection update video. Um, in the background we're listening to Dead Shell of Universe, um, black metal band out of uh, Serbia. They only had one soul EP from 2008 and sadly never did anything else. And, okay, I was going to say, I think it's over actually. I've been listening to it for a bit and it's not that long. Um, Serbian black metal, like I said, um, they only had the one release. Uh, it did get a decent amount of attention when it came out. Um, you know, it, it definitely drew comparisons to Death Spell Omega, um, as you know, in those days, a lot of bands were doing that. Um, still, to this day, a lot of bands are doing that. Um, but I thought this was really good and stood above, you know, stood above the rest. Um, this was the bummer that 10 years went by and they didn't do anything else. So, uh, I don't think there's much left. But if you like what you hear, go track it down if you can. Um, anyways, I tried to record a video uh, right before this of some new shit that I've got, and I, I fucking deleted it by accident. Um, so <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and re-record the same video, because that's that just would bum me out. So I'm going to move on, and I'm going to uh, talk about some other stuff. I mean, I have several stacks of new shit that I've gotten in the last couple weeks, so I'm, I'm going to do a different stack, uh, not what I had planned on doing. This is a much smaller stack, and I mean, it's a very mixed bag. I mean, this might not be super exciting for everybody, but um, you know, I'm just gonna show it anyways. This is this is what I have uh, kind of acquired this weekend, I guess you could say. Um, all right. Anyways, we got. I mean, there's like I said, a mixed bag. Some new releases, some old random ass shit. Uh, we'll just start with. Um, I've actually, this one I've wanted to own for a long time. I've heard it a couple times, and I think it's a great, kind of great prog album. Um, we have the Alan Parsons Project with Tales of Mystery and Imagination, Edgar Allan Poe. So, um, I think, you know, that pretty much speaks for itself. This is a, I guess you could say concept album, you know, based on Edgar Allan Poe, uh, and his work. Um, fantastic album. This is their... In my, in my opinion, from what I've heard from Alan Parsons' project, this is, you know, by far the best. Um, and I'm glad to finally have it. So if you like prog and, um, and you haven't heard it, check it out. If you have heard it, um, let me know what you think. Because, yeah, I mean, I've never, like, I'm no prog expert, and I've never been able to talk to anybody about that specific album. So, yeah, talk to me about that. Talk to me about some prog. Um, now we have a couple oddball things that I... I I wouldn't probably go out of my way to buy, but you know, I saw them sitting there and I'm like, yeah, you know, they're both cheap and I'll take them. Um, I'm only kind of a pedestrian type fan, casual fan of this band. Um, I don't like most of their work, but anyways, enough rambling. We have a uh, Exodus, good, friendly, violent, fun. This is a live release from 1991. Relativity Records, as you can see there. Um, this has, I think this is Steve Souza. Yeah, I believe this is Steve Souza on vocals on this one. Um, I haven't listened to it yet, but uh, from what I remember, I think I have heard it before. Um, yeah, Exodus Live album. I've seen Exodus Live, and they were good. Um, I'm just not a huge fan. I like Bonded by Blood, like 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 everybody. Um, there's what's their second album called? It was a Fabulous Disaster. Uh, yeah. Anyways, second album was was pretty good as well. Um, and they said they had some decent stuff, you know, after that throughout the 80s. Um, but I've just, like I said, I've never been the biggest fan. I really, I don't even listen to Bonded by Blood all that much. Um, but I do think it's a good album. Uh, so yeah, now we have Exodus, Another Lesson in Violence. This is another live album. Um, this is Paul Bailoff on vocals, but it's not, uh, it's, this is not like 80s Paul Bailoff. This is when he returned to the band in, in the mid-90s. Um, this is, yeah, this is recorded in San Francisco Trocadero, um, venue in, uh, 97. So yeah, that's when, that's when Paul Bailoff returned to Exodus and I can't remember when he died. Was it like not long after this or, but anyways, um, I don't think I've ever heard this, but I heard it is a good live album for what it is. So, so there you go. Um, we got, I actually found this at a thrift store, um, so yeah, I, I don't think I've, I don't think I had this back in the day, but I might have. Anyways, Primus sailing the seas of cheese. Um, I had gotten rid of all my Primus stuff years ago, and then I kind of regretted it because you know I remember that I I, I like Primus. Um, they're they're a cool band. Uh, 
certainly not for everybody, but I loved them as a kid. And um, Pork Soda, especially being my favorite, but Tales from the Punch Bowl is great. Um, yeah, you know, regardless of what you think about Primus, you know, they're a cool band. Still, still kicking from what I've heard. I haven't, I don't know what they're up to these days, but I guess they're still doing shit and, and cool, you know, good for them. This one, I don't think any of you guys will know about. I, at least I wouldn't expect you to. Because this is a local band here, which, <laughs> where I live, uh, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't expect anyone to know anything about this. But this is a band called Scatterbox. Uh, they're a punk band uh, from here, where I live. Um, they've been around for a long time. Probably 20 years or so. Let me see. Or close to. Um, these guys are my age. <laughs> Maybe even a year or two older. So yeah, probably pushing 20 years, if not 20. Uh, anyways, yeah, they're a punk band. They're, they're good. I mean, I've seen them live a number of times over the years, over the decades almost, and um, they're really good. I, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm not a big punk guy. I, I wouldn't know I wouldn't know what comparisons to, you know, to throw out there to get you interested in them. But anyways, uh, Scatterbox, you know, look them up. You know, if you like punk, maybe you'd like them, maybe not. I don't know, maybe they're, you know, maybe they're not your thing. Anyway, this album's called Ritual. Um, <clears throat> the drummer, uh, Scott, he actually has a uh, kind of a small record label that he runs. And so this, his label put this out. Uh, his label's called it was Black, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to find that for you. You can look it up, maybe. You know, they might have something that you like. Uh, they put out a lot of stuff. Um from you know punk to, to to metal and even like some hip hop, um, Black House Records. So yeah, check out Black House Records. I've actually heard people uh, talk about you know really liking some of the stuff that they put out. So who knows? Just a little plug for them there. I don't own anything from them except for this release. But uh, hey, you know they're good guys from what I from what I understand. So now we have a. <clears throat> this is a brand new release that I just picked up the other day. Um, this is a band that I've I followed this band for, geez, I don't know, pushing 20 years, to be honest. Um, I have, I've, 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 I've for the most part lost interest, interest in them in the last 10, probably, but I still kind of like buy their releases for some reason. I just, I'm weird like that, you know? Um, I mean, even their last album, I did get some enjoyment out of it. I did think it was good, but even by then, I was already long long over the band um anyways we got the new behemoth album uh i loved you at your darkest a terrible title i thought and to be honest i mean that title almost kind of turned me away from even wanting to hear it but they're just one of those bands that like they put something out new and i just i want to hear it and for some reason i want to buy it i don't know why but anyways it's got this cool uh, slip case thing here that's the back take it out it's got some cool you know typical behemothy kind of religious artwork um whatever you want to call that very i mean the, the layout's cool it's <laughs> tons of photos in here of nurgle doing things like he always does um yeah they got like band members being crucified and stuff so that's cool you know they're sticking with the kind of religious themes that they've adopted as of late <laughs> I've listened to it twice, and uh, I mean, it's it's okay. It's it's nothing's really grabbing me so far. I mean, even less than the last album. I thought the last album was actually pretty solid, um, and this one hasn't even really done that quite for me. I mean, it's like you know, I've listened to it twice. It wasn't hard to get through or anything. Like it's you know, the music as always, the musicianship is good. Um, you know, the songwriting is skilled and everything. Uh, but just I mean, not 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 much left for me to grab onto, but. But that's not me, um, you know, bagging it on the album. That's just that's just kind of like my tastes these days. And this band just just doesn't quite do it for me anymore. I guess you could say, <laughs> though I did buy it and I have listened to it twice. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a Behemoth fan in 2018. So I mean, if any of you guys are are maybe bigger fans than me, you know, let's talk about this album. You know, maybe you can point out some strong points and maybe some reasons why I should, you know, maybe give it a couple more listens. Or keep it, not, you know, get rid of it. Um, which, I mean, I hadn't planned on getting rid of it or anything. But, yeah, if you like Modern Day Behemoth, let's talk about it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I, I really like their old stuff um, back when they were a black metal band. 
I thought they were killer. Um, and, you know, as they became more death metal, they just kind of, you know, though I do love death metal, um, they just kind of slowly lost my interest the more, you know, death metal they became. I don't know. <clears throat> I guess that's all I can really say. And last but not least, I have uh, my very small order that I got from Nero One Records yesterday. Um, I literally ordered this or pre-ordered this the day that it went up. I'm like, I have to have that. This is a, a Cardiac Arrest and Surgical split. Um, just a two-song, seven-inch split. We've got Cardiac Arrest, Blade Violent, and Surgical with their, their site is called Embodiment of Sin and Obscenity. Nice uh, Matt Putrid uh, artwork there. Fucking, uh, I love that guy. Not only does he seem like a cool guy, I mean, his artwork is just phenomenal. Um, I mean, just this style of artwork, there's, he's just untouchable. I think this, I think this was seven bucks, something like that, seven, eight bucks. Um, well worth it. It's, uh, it's just, I don't know why I'm pulling it out. It's just black vinyl. I'm just trying to, you know, show you what it, what you get here and, you know, maybe you'll go order a copy. I love Cardiac Arrest. Um, so I had to have it. And Surgical are good too. I mean, I, I had never really taken a whole lot of interest in Surgical. Um, but I gotta say, this song they did on here just fucking kills. You know, it might I might like it more than the uh, the Cardiac Arrest song, which is saying a lot because I really do like Cardiac Arrest. Um, if you don't know Cardiac Arrest, they're a uh, death metal band out of the Chicago area. <clears throat> um, you know, they play just kind of a uh, you know just kind of a bare knuckles you know, you know. I, don't, I hate using the term old school death metal, but you know they do have you know a true death metal sound, um, and if you want to say. You know, they're kind of, um, you know, kind of a, uh, I don't know how to say this. They were, they were playing, you know, the old school death metal style, you know, like throwback style death metal, I guess you could say, you know, forgive my terminology. I'm just trying to get my point across. And my main point is, is that, you know, there are a lot of bands, younger bands right now playing like this old school sounding death metal of different sorts. Um, but Cardiac Arrest were doing it well before um, almost any of these bands. Um, in fact, they've been doing it almost 20 years now. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, they're not one of the early death metal bands. They weren't around in the early 90s. They just weren't quite old enough yet. You know, but they did, uh, you know, form in like a s mid to late 90s. And, you know, they were doing that, what's very popular now, they were doing this well before almost any of these bands. So... I'm just trying to give them credit for that. I think hopefully I made my got my point across there. Surgical, if you don't know who they are, they are also from the uh, um, Chicago area, somewhere around there. I, I don't know exactly. They're from Illinois, anyways. Um, and this is a cool band, really. I mean, it's kind of like when I first heard them and I saw the lineup of who was in the band, I I, I pretty much took it as just like a group of friends who just wanted to do a project together because, you know, they're friends and they enjoy each other's company and they just wanted to do something fun. And they definitely did that. And and why I say that is because when you look at the lineup, I mean, there's like five different dudes doing vocals. Um, that's certainly not necessary, but I think that's, they, they wanted to do, they, that's what they wanted to do. You know, we got, we have Vanessa uh, Nocera, who is, you know, married to Billy Nocera. They own Razorback Records together. You know, they're both doing vocals on this. We got uh, William Sievers. Um, he's also doing vocals on this. We got, uh, let's see. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this. Zdenka Prado. He's also doing vocals on this. But And not to discredit any of those guys, but most important of all, you know, I got to point out, we got Steve Odecayo, um from you know, the mighty Impetigo uh, doing vocals on this. And, I mean, let's be honest, that 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 is what brought me to this band. Uh, but I should also point out Ash Thomas uh, plays guitar on this. Ash Thomas from, I mean, a lot of bands. Right now he's in Shed the Skin. Um, he, he had a, a, a bunch of cool bands in the past, uh, Thorns of the Carry-On, among others. Anyway, Ash Thomas is a, is a uh, Chicago area uh, actually, wait, Ash Thomas. I'm, <laughs> Ash Thomas is from Ohio. I'm sorry. Um, Ohio area legend. Um, 
yeah, I mean, that guy's just fucking great. Great, great vocalist, great guitarist, great, great songwriter. Um, he is definitely one of the greats, I think. Um, I don't remember where Razorback Records is based out of. So, like, Vanessa and Billy, I don't know if they're from the Chicago area now that I, now that I mentioned that. Um, I mean, cardiac arrests are from the Chicago area. Surgical, I'm actually not sure. But anyways, I think I have, <laughs> I think I've kind of rambled on enough and hopefully I made the points I was trying to make. Sorry, I'm just kind of reading the, like the thanks list and stuff. But yeah, very cool release. Um, two songs. Um, like I said, I, you know, the Surgical song was so strong that I, I think it might even be better than the Cardiac Arrest one, which is the reason I bought this. So they're definitely a band to look out for if you haven't, uh, if you haven't heard them. And also, uh, Nero One threw this in as a freebie, which is really cool of them. And, you know, I, I only, you know, I made a small order of a, a $7 EP and they threw in a CD, um, just for the hell of it. Uh, I already had the CD, but it, you know, it's still, I, you know, I still felt that was really fucking cool of them doing that for me. Um, we have the, uh, Omen Filth Hymns of Diabolical Treachery CD. This CD is fucking great, by the way. Um, it's a digipack. It's still sealed. Um, if anyone, uh, if anyone would like this and, you know, I'd be willing to trade it for something, um, if just whatever, something that you, you maybe have doubles of or something that you don't want that, you know, I might want, <clears throat> um, I just, yeah, I just don't have any need for it being I already have it. It's a great album. It's a black metal band out of Singapore. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of Greek sounding, it's kind of the, you know, the early Greek stuff. If I were to, you know, really compare it to something, but it's really fucking good. I mean, I actually um, went out of my way to, to purchase this uh, months ago from Nero One. So, Omen Filth, go and look them up. Um, if you like what you hear and you'd like to have this album, um, the CD, like I said, I'd, you know, just trade me something for it and I'll send it to you. Um, something like that. Or maybe I'll do a giveaway or something. I don't know. If you want it, just let me know. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I'm going to do today. Like I said, I tried to record, uh, you know, kind of a longer, uh, more detailed video, but that didn't work out. <laughs> I'm not going to try again because that, that's just like, um, it's kind of like when you're a little kid and you're like playing your PlayStation or even if you go further back like me to like Nintendo or Super Nintendo, you know, you're playing for like two straight hours and then you lose and you have to restart that shit again. And oh man, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. I'm not going to do that today. I'm an adult now. I'm not a little kid. And my time's a little bit more valuable. But anyways, it is Sunday right now. So, you know, my weekend's winding down. Yours might be too. Dreading going back to work tomorrow. You might be on the same boat. So we can, you know, go into battle tomorrow together. And hopefully we will survive. <laughs> However, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for talking and commenting and all that shit. Um, we will talk soon, hopefully. Cheers. Bye.